name is Ann Rose, and I'm a local artist here in Mobile, Alabama. I was an art educator for 33 years, and I taught crafts at a high school in Irvington for 20 years. We did a lot of clay work, weaving, and basketry, so now I'm really inspired by those same mediums today. I make these clay chimes. I make my own clay stamps, and I press them into the clay. Um, the stamps imagery, a lot of them are birds or flowers. I like to press leaves into the clay too, or natural material that I find in my yard. This is my studio. It's just a little house or a little room um, connected to my sunroom. And I have some cabinets that used to be our old uh, kitchen cabinets before we redid our kitchen. And I have my supplies and I'm working on some bells here. Um, you can see I've got an underglaze on the stamped areas, but this is what I mean by picking up plants. I just found this weed and it kind of looked like a tree, and that's going to make a really pretty bell um, once it's glazed over. And another thing that I like to do is I do stitching, um, I do embroidery. These are all things we did in my crafts class, and so I enjoy doing stitchings. Um, embroidery. I like a lot of bird imagery. I also like to combine the two mediums of uh, clay and basketry. I like to do pine needle basketry. So one thing I do is I take leaves and I press them into the clay and then after this is fired there's some holes along the edges and I'm stitching pine straw on the edge of this with a sinew. Um, just traditional pine basketry, but it, it's added to clay. And then I, I stitch right through the, the st stitch below it, and that attaches the, the coil of straw. When I run out of straw, I just put more inside. I really enjoy working with natural materials, and I love imagery uh, that has to do with the sea and birds and flowers. If you would like any of my work, you can look me up. My website is gardenbellsandseachimes.com and shop local everybody.